Hello everyone, my name is Norma and today we're doing Best Pools Part 2. A few months ago I did do a Best Pools video, but there's so many awesome hotels here in Vegas that a Part 2 was necessary. So please keep on watching to see The Best Pools in Vegas Part 2. If you saw my part one, I'm sure many of you thought, wait, why is Amanda Libby on this list? But I told you there was going to be a part two. The beach at Mandalay Bay is one of the most known when it comes to best pools in Las Vegas. It has a wave pool, lazy river, and two lagoon cell pools. And I think the coolest thing is that you've got real sand all over the place. This wave pool is massive. It easily takes up at least a third of the whole place. And this whole thing is 11 acres, so that's pretty big. Now, it does lay out a wave every 90 seconds, so be ready to swim. But you do have to be at least 40 inches tall, so luckily I made it by a few inches. So of course this place also has lounge chairs and day beds available for rent. And it'll be yours all day from open to close. That way you don't have to line up early and fight for the free first come first of chairs. Now there's more than just lounge chairs and day beds that you can rent. Mandalay Bay also has 90 cabanas and gazebos. That's right, 90. It could be as simple as a table and chairs, or you can ball out and rent out the snazziest cabana in the whole place. This place too has a top option to pool, just like at the Mirage. Here is called Maria, and you do have to be 21 and over to get in. I obviously can't show you on the inside because, well, it's top optional. And my favorite part, the lazy river. Just step inside and let the stream push you along. It's basically a lazy man's way to swim. You can float along on your own or you can buy an inner tube. And you can definitely bring your own. And they do have a compressor here where you can blow it up. Just remember though, they don't rent floaties. You do have to buy them. If you're trying to choose a hotel based off a pool, I would definitely consider the MGM Grand. It's one of the bigger pools in Las Vegas and there's so much to do. The pool at MGM Grand is six and a half acres. It has three pools, three whirlpools, and a lazy river. And just a little secret, there might be a rumor that it's bigger than the one at Mandalay Bay. All hotel guests of the MGM Grand and Signature are welcome any time of the week. But if you're not staying here, you can still come Monday to Thursday if you rent either a cabana, a day bed, or lounge chairs for the day. Weekends are strictly only for hotel guests. If you do get a cabana or a day bed, half of what you pay goes towards food and beverage. So let's just say you get a cabana for $1,000. That means $500 is going to go towards that food and beverage at the pool for the day. And if you do go over, then you just pay the rest to your server. And fun fact, the MGM Grand does have a pool that is for people that are ages 18 and over. So no kids allowed, and you can come in whether you have a cabana or not. You can definitely bring your own too, but they do have a $5 fill-up fee, or you can just buy one here. Now time for some Lazy River. <laughs> okay, so you know how I said in the beginning that it might be bigger than the one at Mandalay Bay? Well, now that I'm actually like in it, I, I think it is actually. It's definitely bigger, like we haven't even done a full loop yet. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> this has been like 10 minutes. Then this is pretty cool. Like you'll be on the lazy river and then there's a pathway that deviates you a little bit. You're gonna find a waterfall. For 
For this pool, we have traveled about five miles away from this trip. We're located at the downtown Fremont area at the Golden Nugget Hotel. And for this pool, it's a little bit different than the rest. So the Golden Nugget had a pool renovation that cost $30 million. That's quite a bit of change, but it was definitely worth it. You'll see why. Now you can't actually tell unless you are out here, but they do have three levels to this pool area. We are currently on the first level. Then the second level is going to have more cabanas and day beds, and then the third level is going to have another pool. The pool on the third level is called a hideout. Now you do have to be 21 and over to use that pool, plus you do have to have a cabana, a day bed, or chairs rented out in order to use that pool. So here's some great news. Non-hotel guests are allowed to use the pool from Sundays to Fridays, so just not Saturdays. So Monday to Thursday is going to cost $30, and then Fridays and Sundays is going to be $45. But just make sure you check with the pool directly just in case of any prices or rule change. So if you haven't noticed yet, they have a huge shark tank in the middle of the pool with a slide that goes right through it. It's about 200,000 gallons with 300 sharks and other marine animals in there. So if you do have a fear of sharks, I think it's going to be the best way to face that fear. Imagine having to be one of those fishes that have to be in the same tank as all those sharks. I would definitely have my guard up at all times. The slide is seasonal, so make sure you double check the website just to verify the dates and the hours for both the pool and the slide. So Norma, how was the slide down? It was not fun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is fun. I was just really surprised because I don't really do very well with like things that go downhill. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. I don't wanna do this again. I don't wanna do it anymore, so he's gonna do it for me. I'm scared of sharks, yo. This next pool, we're located at the newest hotel in Vegas, which I'm sure by now you've heard of Resorts World, but they've added a few aspects that are new to the Las Vegas Strip. Resorts World has five different pool areas, but technically nine different bodies of water, but it does depend which hotel you're staying at that will determine which pool you can go into. So first off, the main pool, Bimini Pool, and Family Pool are available to all hotel guests. The Cabana Pool, you do either have to be a guest of either Conrad or Crockford, or of course have a Cabana rented. And then finally, the Infinity Pool. Now you do have to be 21 and over, so during the weekends, it is gonna be a cover charge of 10 to $20, depending on demand. And then on the weekdays, it's actually gonna be a one drink minimum per person. There's a lot of great things about the pool here. Like, I love how there's so many wet deck chairs in most of the pools. They have some really cool life-size games that you can play. And even the Family Pool looks like a lot of fun. So Resorts World is partnered up with Grubhub. So what they have done here is that if you're here at the pool, you can actually order from any of the restaurants or eateries down in Resorts World. So if you haven't seen, I did do a video where I went to all 16 places in the street eats over here at Resorts World. So here what you do is that you order it on your app and then it gets delivered to one of these boxes. So once you are ready, you just come here, you scan your code that they give you, and then one of these will open up. And there you go, lunch. So 
as you guys can see, there's so many pools here in Vegas that you can come check out. But as always, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what's your favorite pool here in Vegas for maybe a part three. And if you haven't seen part one, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Why is Amanda Lepe on this list? But, because I'm a Okay. Mommy, he kept holding on to my foot. Oh my god, I'm sweaty. Se ve bien, like, mi pata, mi pie. Yeah, it's up on the... Okay, sorry. I'm melting here. Obviously can't show you on the inside because it's optional. Hold on, I fucked that up. Okay. Action! Okay. Okay. And push you along. It's basically like a lazy man's way to swim. No, that's not... Hold on, I mean, wipe down. Hot. I still look cute. A little secret, there might be rumors that it's bigger. No, you have to stop at a little secret. They do have a huge heart. Uh, yeah. Sea ah! hunter sharks and other marine animals live there. So if you do have a fear of sure, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Sha. This next pool, we're located at the newest hotel in Las Vegas. Mm. You probably know you've heard of Resorts World, but they've added a few aspects. And during the weekdays, it is going to be a one drink minimum per. per what's that? <laughs> Maybe a cover charge about ten to twenty dollars, depending on the man. But on the week. Oh hi. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> I am so sweaty. That was lame. That was lame. <laughs> Norma's freezing. She doesn't want to. Just go for it, Norma. All I heard was screaming. Let's go down and see. Uh, <laughs> let's see how she fared. Dude, that was aggressive. <laughs> what the hell? You guys ever watch Norma's panel? She never does one take. So she's making me get back on this slide again. Just blew up at me. Whoa, 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 don't blow up the pool! <laughs> <laughs>